Welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays with Lisa, where transformation begins as we evoke, embrace, and evolve. Greetings, 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 and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you, isn't it? Well, welcome to October. We have literally uh, come to fall and it is absolutely wonderful. And when I think about fall, I wonder what is it that we feel when it comes to fall season? It is a time of uh, cozying up, a time of comfort, comfort food, um, warmer attire. Well, not in California because it's quite warm in here and it's going to get warmer. But in life, when we think about the fall season, it is the leaves, the color of the leaves are changing. Um, things are moving forward and uh, the holiday season is coming and it is the last three months of the year. So what do you have in store? How are you going to complete your last three months of the year? Um, do you have plans? Do you have a strategy? Or do you usually follow somebody else's lead? This is going to be today's message because today I was speaking to someone and we realized how we talk about, I wish I was back when I was. Um, so what does that mean? That means we are not present to where we are today and we want to be what we used to be. As always, I speak in metaphors. How many of you say, yes, I wish I was 10 pounds thinner. I wish I was younger. I wish I could move better. Or I wish I had this relationship or this job or I, the wishes for the past instead of the wishes of what we want, right? And there is a huge difference in this. That means where I am today, I am not happy. I wish I could have, should have, would have. And yet it's because of everything about where you were that has led you to where you are today. And here is the lesson. Here is where we pause instead of creating, instead of wishing, instead of wanting, what if just for today, you sit and say, where am I? And look back, look at your timeline. And it doesn't matter if it was your fault or somebody else's fault. Take ownership and say, this is what I did, this is what I chose, this is what I felt, and this is how I was. And what do I do with all this now? A part of a metaphor is I want you to take a moment and just be still. As a clinical hypnotherapist, working with my clients, this is exactly what I do. I ask my client to sit in, in the recliner and just roll your eyes up as if you are looking up into the sky, into your third eye, and gently close your eyes and imagine. Imagine just being present just for today, just for now and become silent and quiet, listening to the sound of your own breath as you breathe in and out. And as you do so, just become so comfortable. And if there is any pain, if there is an issue inside your body, 
If there is something you are struggling with, either mentally, emotionally, physically, if there's something that is unsettling within you, just for now, say thank you. Not I am in pain, but thank you. Thanking every essence of who you are. And as you have your eyes closed, breathing in and out easily and gently. Let's do this together. One, two deep in, two breaths in, one breath out. And as you do this, what you are doing is bringing oxygen into your body. And as you exhale slowly and gently, releasing, releasing toxins, releasing stress, releasing worry, and just letting go. And for just a moment, being present with nothing except what you are feeling and being with. Now, just imagine with your eyes closed and you know how we talk and so many say, you know, I got derailed as if I knew exactly where I was going and this and that derailed me. And I want you to know there are so many different rails, different platforms that each one is there exactly how it's supposed to be and they're all interconnected. And each one is built to take you to a different path. And yet, when I say it's taking you to a different path, and no matter which place you go, you will be railed or um, be on that journey, on that path. You are the train. You are the compartments. You are the director inside this train. And if the train becomes every essence of who you are and the first portion, first compartment is the director's uh, compartment, which is you, which is your mind. And this part, you sit here, you're in charge of this compartment, you're in charge as a director wearing the director's hat and there's two other compartments actually maybe even three which is one is the passengers the people a part of your life that are still part of your life and actually that compartment you can think about this is my mind i govern i rule i think i analyze and judge and criticize i am the designer i'm the one that puts the entire thing together as to where i'm going and then the second compartment is your body the third compartment in can be your heart and the emotions but every part of this train is you so when you say, I got derailed, that means the entire being of who you are is still with you. And it doesn't matter if it was then or now or tomorrow, you are the train. So when part of you, not only the heart and the mind and the essence, doesn't matter which part of you, nothing about you changes. Who you are does not change. This train does not change. It just went on a different pathway. It's just on a different rail. And you know, 
every rail, if you go to a train station, you will see, yes, the train comes this way and there is another train going that way. And the trains are interconnected. And guess what? There is a control place that when the train is going that way, they can open the rails and connect another rail that the train goes this way. And that means you have control over where you want to go starting today. And if it was absolutely amazing in the past and ha hasn't been amazing for the last two years or two months or two weeks or even the last two days, you can make that change and say, I'm coming to this platform. I'm going to pause on this platform. I'm either going to debunk and have some of the passengers or thoughts, habits, behaviors, even, even habits and worries and pain and hurt and shame and blame, whatever it is that ha you have gathered until today, accumulated throughout your journeys through the history and today you stop and say a lot of this has to come off this tape this train i am ready to remove some of the passengers and ask them to leave this train because I want to make room for new passengers. I want to make room for new behaviors. I want to make room for new habits. I want to make room so I feel as good as I used to be. Because when I was at the top of my game, this is what I felt. This is who I was surrounded with. This is the things that I used to do. And be clear of what it was. And be very clear and honest with yourself all the things that were also not so good because there is no perfection nothing can be hundred percent perfect and if there was a window of perfection that you were at the top of your game with every aspect physically mentally emotionally even spiritually and soul right write down what was the best in your life and what changed what rail changed who came into your life that derailed you what changed in your life either a physical being or a new habit that you picked on or something that you gave out of yourself and you gave control to something else someone else and you were no longer the conductor of your own train what did you believe in who did you believe in what did you take on that it was not you that's giving power away without realizing and it can happen so subtly it can happen so easily and then you turn around and say this is what happened and then without being clear of what it was you go into resentment have you ever felt that and when you start resenting yourself you go into self-sabotaging self-punishment and then when you hit yourself into that bottom you say this is the oldest train this train is a piece of whatever it's not maybe you need to renew the seats to renew the passengers because you know in the trajectory of feelings joy love peace happiness freedom are the highest for us to feel for us to get to that inner self-confidence inner joy inner love inner that kindness that I feel at the top of my game is right here if we say from 0 to 20 right and you know what is the lowest like one of energy level 
It's called shame. When we feel shame or we've been shamed or we feel a sense of shame and guilt and depression. And it's that lowest grade of feeling. Feeling is what we feel. And I know you can come higher. Come to a point of kindness. Come to a point of everything. So how do you do that? Is both first writing down or even going into your mind and stepping into when you say, I was, and bring that feeling of I was. This is what I was. And what is that feeling? How did you feel? Why did you feel that way? What was happening in your life, in your home, in your compartments? What were you surrounded with internally, externally that you felt at the top of your game? And when you have that essence, that part so fully immersed and you feel the joy and the spark within you, you say, ah, now I see the missing links of when I gave the power away, when this happened, when that happened, and then you see the entire puzzle fit. Or you can just mismatch it and turn around and say, now I see, I recognize it. And if you cannot recognize it, by all means, get in touch with me because all that information is right there within your reach, within your subconscious mind, which is truly the platform, the patterns, everything is in your subconscious mind. And sometimes we get out of that and we get so lost, we get so out of focus, we get so Im immersed and make somebody else's thoughts, ideas, and their images of what they think it's best for you, that's when you give your power away. Hmm? So with your eyes closed, let's do this again. Take in love, kindness, energy, joy and exhale release release tension release negativity release what you thought is no longer yours and today for just for today you say yes to you you say yes to realizing every part of your compartment, every essence, every nerve, every muscle, every organ, every tissue, your mind, your body, which is the entire machinery of this uh, compartment. You are not the train, the train, the, your body is, yes, the train, the metal, the entire being of it. Even the wheels are your legs, right? The windows is how you see outside and you allow others to see inside the compartment. Your heart is the essence, the engine is the machinery, how your body is functioning. And the front, the seat in control is every essence of your power, which is your mind, which is the decision maker. You are the director of this train. And today, I want you to sit as if you open in the past in the old days, they used to have a map. And where do I want to go? What do I want to achieve? What's the journey? How many platforms do I want to stop? And where do I want to go? And once I get there, what's the view? Who do I want to be with? What do I want to experience? So today's message is very short is empowering you for you to realize the best thing for you to do sometimes is to do nothing and take time for yourself and say, if I am the train, 
and I thought I got derailed. I want to know which path do I want to take and what do I want to feel. Be the master of your own journey so you can take this journey and make it the best for you. My name is Lisa Bubari. I am master clinical hypnotherapist, helping you achieve what is sometimes unseen. And I can bring it to clarity. In mind, in body, and emotions. Taking you from that level of pain, which is feeling powerless, insecure, anxious, and negative thoughts to having that greatness, that acceptance and acknowledgement of who you are, to feeling independent and knowing that you do matter by nourishing yourself and nurturing yourself. Isn't it time for us to show up together, stand up for who you are, and speak all that you deserve to be heard. Until next one, until next week, plan your next journey and pull your horn and say, everybody watch out, here comes the train. God bless and have a wonderful fall. Journey onto places that the leaves are falling and the colors are changing and you can breathe and say yes to you. See you next week. Thank you for being here. If you want to check out some of the testimonials that I've got, click right here. But if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.